escaping from my embrace. Especially if I wrap my powerful wings around us. Mm. They're the same wings that so effortlessly carried both of us to my lair. So don't even bother trying to squirm away. Just relax and enjoy our little cuddle cocoon. Oh, yes, I know. I'm a big, scary dragon, but you need to calm your breathing, treasure. I don't want you fainting again. It already caused me a lot of trouble when I came to capture you. You collapsed off of the castle balcony and nearly fell to your death before I was able to grab you and fly off. Oh, you tiny, weak treasure. What? Eat you? <laughs> Why would I eat you? The occasional thief who barges into my lair may be quite the delicacy, but you humans vastly overestimate your nutritional value. It would be a waste of time and energy to fly halfway across the continent just to eat a simple appetizer. No. <laughs> a thing like you is less of an appetizer and more of a dessert. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you need to calm down, treasure. I'm afraid you'll hurt your heart with how hard it's pounding. I'm sorry for teasing you, but I can't seem to help it. <laughs> it's all just too much. The smell of the adrenaline coursing through your veins. The thumping and shaking of your chest against my scales. The widening of your eyes and shrinking of your pupils. The desperate flailing of your puny limbs. You're so terrified. And it's just intoxicating. It makes you seem so fragile. So delicate. So precious. Just the thought that your adorable reactions are all mine puts a flutter in my chest. They're mine. 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 to be frightened. I know you're scared of me, but I'm not going to hurt you. Quite the opposite. I'm going to guard you and protect you with my life. You're now the crown jewel of my collection. Out of all the gold and gems and enchanted items I've hoarded. You're going to sit on the very top as my most valuable prize. You won't have to worry about anything. I'll feed you and groom you and dress you up. You'll live better than any emperor and all you have to do is stay here and look pretty for me. Doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> Why would I do that? My treasure, I'm not sure why you're so confused. Don't you humans take possession of lesser beings all the time? 
I've seen you regularly keep dogs and cats and birds for entertainment and even for wealth display. Hmm. What's the word you humans use? Hmm. Ah, that's it. You're going to be my pet. My precious, exotic trophy pet. A beautiful royal child of a dignified bloodline for my horse. You're worth so much. You are going to be used to secure an alliance between powerful rivals, sold away as a partner to a duke in exchange for military support. You're worth armies of tens of thousands of men. Your hand in marriage could create years of carnage or years of peace and prosperity. I can feel all of that when I hold you. The sheer influence and value you hold. The fate of hundreds of thousands of lives condensed into a single person. I can smell it. And the idea that someone else got to control that fate Oh, I couldn't stand it. Something so valuable should be mine. It should be mine. All mine. Oh, hey, you don't have to cry. Shh, it's okay. You're fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Hmm? Hmm? Oh no. Oh, you misunderstand my treasure. I didn't require you only because you were going to be used for a treaty. I know you possess value outside of that. There's a dozen important marriages every year, but I don't have dozens of brides and grooms in my horde now, do I? No, treasure. You're special. <laughs> I got your attention now, haven't I? Your tears have stopped. <laughs> yes, a great dragon just called you special. Mm. I wonder if anyone else has called you that before. You're the fifth living child you're for your parents, aren't you? Surely you've seen all the attention given to your older siblings, with only little crumbs landing on you from time to time. You're viewed by your family as a simple spare, or in the case of your marriage, a bargaining chip, aren't you? But I don't see you like that. I never have. You see, I'm no stranger. You've probably heard stories about me all your life. I used to live close to the seaside castle of your cousin. It was only a few seasons ago that I finally decided to move somewhere quieter. I saw you on your yearly visits as you grew older and grew pretty. An exquisite jewel of a royal. Neglected its proper acknowledgement by its caretakers. So beautiful. So precious. Even back then, you drove me mad. I wanted to own you, to add you to my collection, but I controlled myself. 
You see, humans hold grudges for generations if you touch their royals. But when I heard the whispers that you were going to be married for an important treaty and to be that much more valuable and precious, I snapped. I flew all the way back to your kingdom and waited for the perfect time to capture you. I even left my horde undefended for days while I waited for you, with only a boulder hiding the entrance. That's how much you're worth to me. And all of that worth is mine now. Mine. Mine. over my treasures, that's all. Look, if I unwrap you and flip you around, you can see my hoard, can't you? Absorb that everything has been kept sparkling and is in prime condition. You're going to be treated the same way. Not a single claw will pierce your skin. You're my treasure now, and I take good care of my treasures. Nothing will harm you ever again. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I think my precious treasure is getting sleepy. It has been an exciting day for you, hasn't it? Well, I'm sleepy too. After all, I'm the one that had to fly us both to my lair. And I couldn't fly us straight here either. I had to take a long, meandering path to make sure no one could track us where we went. It was exhausting. But it was more than worth it, because you're mine now. And when I wrap my wings around us like this, nothing can possibly get to you. You're safe, and warm, and snug, and completely hidden from the cruel, tarnishing world. Only I can see you, and hear you, and feel you, just as it should be. So just sleep, my treasure. Mm, I have a very good nose and ears. I'll wake up if there's any trouble and destroy the threat before you've even stirred from your slumber. Nothing will find you and take you away from me. <laughs> and if they try, I will tear them limb from limb. <laughs> My treasure. Mm-hmm.